Hey, 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 guys, what's going on? It's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. All right, so if you've upgraded to WordPress 3.6, you may have noticed that there is a very new and cool feature with WordPress 3.6 that allows you to now embed video directly into your page without using um, you know, YouTube, Vimeo, same goes for audio. So if you have a podcast, you don't have to use a third party um, plugin or whatever to host your podcast. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very easy. And then I'm going to finish up by explaining why this is probably not a good idea for most people. So let's get started. So we're going to just create a post here. You can do a post or a page. It doesn't matter. So you come up here to add media, upload file. Notice that with WordPress, you have a maximum upload file size. I bet yours says two megabytes. Hang on because I'm going to come back to that. So we're going to say select file. So I'm going to select this video. It's an MP4 file, which it needs to be. So make sure you're not trying to upload an MOV file or whatever because it won't work. For audio, you need to do MP3. So we're going to just say insert into post. And WordPress will create these little short codes right here for you. So it will embed the video into your page. Okay, so here's the video. Uh, anybody notice anything weird about this? Is that play button off center to the right or are my eyes going crazy? Anyway, so let's hit play and it's going to play this little quick video I made right before I started recording. So this video, as you can see, it's hosted on my server. There's no YouTube. There's no external source. I am hosting this video. Now, let me explain to you why this is probably a bad idea for most of you. And I'll show you or I'll explain to you when you may want to use this and how you should best use this. Okay, remember I said I would come back to this? Your WordPress site probably says two megabytes. Mine says 64 because I'm on a dedicated server and I just called my host and had them change this for me. So I could have set this to 300 megabytes if I wanted to. The reason this is set low is because videos and large files take up a lot of bandwidth. So I'm gonna explain to you what all that means in a second, but you can change this, but I'm going to recommend that you contact your web host because it's different for different hosts. I'll put a link in the description that shows you how to do it, but I would highly recommend you contact your host first because if you're not careful, you can take your site down, which I did. Fortunately, I was able to get it back up quickly because I, back, I backed up the file that I changed and everything. So please contact your host before trying this if you're not comfortable with you know, uploading files and doing things with your server. All right, so let's say you have a video that is 100 megabytes in size, which is very realistic for a video. Anytime somebody goes to your website, they download basically everything that's on the page. The content, the images, the video, all this stuff gets downloaded from your host to their computer. This is called bandwidth. So let's say a thousand people view this 100 megabyte video in a day. That means you've used up 100,000 megabytes of bandwidth, which is 100 gigabytes, roughly, a little less. Let me just sum this up. That's a lot of bandwidth. <laughs> that is a lot of bandwidth. So let me tell you guys a little secret. Many of you guys probably already know this, but when you sign up with a shared hosting company like HostGator, GoDaddy, Bluehost, DreamHost, whatever, you may or may not have noticed that you got unlimited bandwidth. Sounds great, right? Unlimited bandwidth. Cool, great, wonderful. What the heck is bandwidth? Some of you guys probably didn't even pay any attention to that. But you know what? It looks good for marketing. And they use this strategy because they know 99.9999% of people are never going to use a lot of bandwidth. So they tell you it's unlimited. But if you click on this link, they will tell you. This is a long winded way of saying, if you use too much bandwidth, we will shut you down. And they will. And the reason this is, is because you are sharing a server with thousands of other people. So if you start using a lot of bandwidth, you can impact or shut down those other websites. So that's why they can't risk you using a lot of bandwidth because it will impact other customers. So that's why I think for most people, you should continue using whatever you've been using for your video, whether it's YouTube, Vimeo, whatever. Um, and now for 
podcasting, it's a little different because MP3 files don't take up as much space unless you have a really, really, really large MP3 file because it's just audio. But with video, you can suck up a lot of bandwidth that way. So let me show you another cool feature. You can also just copy and paste the URL into the post and WordPress will now display the video. So there's my video that I embedded and here's the YouTube video. So just like tweets, you can now just paste the URL of the video and WordPress will just bring it up like that without having to grab the embed code. Same thing goes for audio as well. So when should you ever use this feature? I think it's not a bad idea to use it. Let's say you have a home page and you want to introduce people to your site and the video is like 30 seconds long or a minute long and maybe you don't get a ton of traffic to your homepage, then that's a good use of this feature. But if you're on shared hosting, which 98% of you guys probably are, it's probably not a good idea to upload video to your site. Audio, like I said, you might be able to do that. But with video, it just takes up too much bandwidth. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And by the way, every once in a while, probably three or four times a month, I'll get an email when somebody will ask me to call them. Call me, Lisa, please. I need your help. While it would be cool to, you know, call people and get to know everybody that wants me to call them, that can be a little bit overwhelming, which is one of the reasons I started a forum called Website Babble. And let me tell you, I am on that forum every single day. Even if I can only answer one question that day, I am there. And that's a great place to get help, not from only me, but other people on the forum as well. So um, if you need help and you're lost and you're confused and you're uh, troubled about something, come to Website Babble, say hi, you'll get to talk with me, you'll get to talk with the other awesome members, and I would love to see you there. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.